Italian road race that grew to be one of the world's most famous races. Competitors would leave one at a time, wearing their starting signs as their racing numbers. During the race, the country came to a standstill. Huge crowds greeted the winner as a conquering hero, particularly if he were Italian. Between 1948 and 1957, Scuderia Ferrari would win the Olympia eight times, each time with an Italian driver, each time a cause for national celebration. In 1952, Alberto Ascari won six out of seven Formula One races and captured Ferrari's first world championship. Ascari's victories included a triumph for the legendary Nürburgring in Germany. The Nürburgring is regarded as the ultimate driver's circuit. There are races that test speed and agility, but the endurance race is the race of truth. Pure adrenaline that push man and machine to their limits. Speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour were common in the streets. And nothing so magnifies every mechanical flaw, every driving mistake, as great. Many drivers met their end during endurance races, but they were also the scenes of our greatest victories. Ferrari's initial endurance victory and the first important international success came in 1949, just two years after Enzo built his first car. Since then, many of the Scuderia's greatest triumphs have been at endurance races. Called the Shark Nose when it debuted, the 156 F1 shattered records on every circuit. A true thing of beauty, it redefined how our races would be designed and built. In 1961, Ferrari won its first F1 Constructors World Championship title and fifth Drivers World Championship title with American driver Phil Hill. He was also the first driver to finish under nine minutes at the Nürburgring. Daytona's 24-hour race was a landmark event in the 1960s. With its three-story high turns, few tracks offered the pathos of Daytona. The height of this was 1967, an unforgettable spectacle. Racing its signature P3s and P4s, Ferrari neutralized the strong teams of Ford and Porsche, finishing first, second, and third, crossing the finish line side by side by side. We found ourselves pushing technology and drivers to the limit. In 1975, after 10 years without a Ferrari F1 championship, Nicky Lauda returned a prizing horse to the winner's platform. He also took the title in 1977 and was followed by the South African Jody Schechter in 1979. The legend lives on in drivers like Michael Schumacher, for five consecutive seasons, from 2000 to 2004, Michael Schumacher won the World Championship title. He has won more championships than any driver in Ferrari history. The heart of the champion world on as Ferrari affirms their legacy of Formula One racing dominance.
Catalina Rampante brand. We hope you have enjoyed this.